Just Louis here. I hope you're all well. We're looking at Elrond today on the daily time frame. At the, and at the beginning of the week, we said that this wick over here is a very bad signal. We said that, yes, we can actually fill it in. We can come up to it again. But I just don't believe that we'll take out this wick as, yeah, it's such a harsh rejection. But usually with these harsh rejections, again, as I said, you can fill in the wick. So, yeah, with such a big wick, what I mean by fill it in is just like, doesn't have to fill it in 100%. Just try and fill in around half. And it's done well over half. So I don't know exactly how much. But we try to fill in the wick. We fail to even reach the 55. So that's a negative signal in itself. Because really, after hitting the 55, closing below it, and the 20, really what should happen is continuation downwards. This is the sign that eventually we will continue downwards. But at first, we're going to try and fill in this wick and head to the 55 daily EMA again. And we had this confirmation of support over here, followed by this engulfing. If I place this green on top of the red, it's almost the exact same as it might be a little bit bigger, basically the same thing. But you can't see, if I put the green on top, you wouldn't be able to see the red's body because it's almost exactly the same or yeah, exactly the same. So they're overlapping. And so you, that's just an engulfing candlestick pattern. We should continue up. Then we did continue up in that same day. We failed to reach up there before the daily candle closed. We closed back under this golden pocket. And remember, I made you aware of this golden pocket. It wasn't the main one, but I'm really happy I was able to leave you guys off with. So this is where the FTX capitulation began. And you want to measure from the top there to this uh, bottom over here. And we have this golden pocket. So we can see that since bottoming out here, we actually did pump up. And the only way you're going to see this a bit clearer is when we scale down to the lower time frame. So for the four hour, for example, or let's go to the one hour time frame, see this a little bit clearer. So you can see we did actually go up for a good few hours. And uh, this was our bottom. And so this was our top. This was our retracement. So we dumped and then this started retracing on back on the dump. And then it stopped over here and we started continuing lower and we put in a new low and then started going up. So I've now measured from here to there. So that's move one. Move one's done. I've moved down and now I'm using the fibs to measure this move. And so with this push down in this direction, uh, retracing against this would mean I'm going up a certain percent against this 100% push down. Let's say I've gone to halfway, I'm now 50%, I've retraced 50%, for example. So we've placed the fibs and it's given us the golden pocket. And I have these values actually gold or orange because these are the two most retraceable levels. You can see when you bottomed out, where did we get pulled to like a magnet? Boom, to the golden pocket, the 050 fib. You should have gone down lower from here, but we found demand previously where we found support and we continue climbing through it to the 618. I've spoken about uh, this on my Bitcoin videos multiple times and that's why you should be uh, uh, following my Bitcoin updates. You can actually go beyond the golden pocket to the 786. That is fine. You did it with that wick. You hit the 786 and we still eventually went lower. What's interesting and what I say in my Bitcoin updates and my other updates is when you hit the 786, great, amazing first step. You did push through the golden pocket, which is something that you should not really be doing if you want to continue lower. You should not be getting up here. However, that's just the first step. Now, flip this golden pocket into support and break the 786 again. Retest that wick. That's interesting. What were we saying on the daily time frame with the 55 EMA? That this over here was a signal to come and break Break this to come out and at least try and test it and try and break it but knowing that this is the maximum high the 786 and the 55 uh, EMA the daily EMA this is the maximum heights that we should reach before uh, eventually coming back down and we did so without getting all the way up there so the, the weakness was already there and um, yeah we managed going back to the one hour time frame fall back under the golden pocket flip it back into resistance resistance again and now continuation lower so it's interesting and i'm uh, that this has happened but i'm just happy that i was able to warn you guys at the beginning of the week that this wick is a very harsh sell signal however in the short term you're going to try and fill it in we could not consistently hold above the golden pocket and so it's essentially done everything uh, as we've predicted that uh, this reaccumulation phase is just uh, 
a trick, market manipulation. We've had such a big push down. I know it, it, this is making you think it's bullish, but that's the whole point to make you think it's bullish. It's not bullish because we made a lower low below $45. Not below the lowest point, but we made a lower low below the higher low. And we were saying ever since back here, as long as we close daily candles above this, we're gonna have chances of going up. And we had our chances, but the FTX event pushed us below this. So we have to understand where we were finding demand once, you're gonna find supply. And this is where we just constantly hit our heads over here and continue low. I am anticipating a move like this. So our targets at around 30 and $20. But yeah, step by step at the moment, the next local bottom will be the low, uh, the actual bottom. And it'll serve as a local bottom to pump, but again, pumping into previous support as resistance to continue lower. And then the same thing again. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you want me to teach you this step by step, I do have mentorship, two slots available. Once they're gone, they will be gone for months and I won't be able to help people one to one. So if you want to grab a slot, do message me on my Twitter, Louis underscore crypto. Other than that, I have a 50% discount over on my course at the moment if you want me to teach you uh if you want that uh, course just uh, yeah video course pre-recorded it's about six hours long head over to my twitter and we can get you started today thank you guys